Hey, it's Billy D here with the XPS upgrade to the Byron F-16. As you're going to see, I made this test stand for it, or dyno stand, whatever you want to call it. What I did is I took some, uh, I think I might have called them hinges, they're, uh, they're sliders for a drawer. So this is basically just a drawer slider. And then I took a Berkeley uh, fish scale and mounted it on here so, you can, so it can tug on it and see how much thrust it's producing. I'm getting right around 13, 14 pounds of thrust out of it. Reason is, it's just a test stand. It's not going to be accurate. This mo this this unit could produce 16 pounds. Uh, at the time you get your your duct work and everything built onto it in the plane, it's going to be a big difference. So I made a little test video out in the front yard of how this motor performs. Uh, I was told it's somewhere in the upwards uh, 260. 280 mile an hour wind coming out of the back of that and you're going to see here real soon <laughs> how much air comes out of this and what kind of uh, RPMs it spins. The video doesn't justify the sound of it. The, the camera isn't picking up the really high pitched sound. This, this Dynamax unit with this fan on it from XPS uh, really sounds like a real turbine. It's a lot different sound than any uh, regular electric ducted fan you've ever heard. It really does sound like a turbine jet. So this is part three of who knows how many parts on this build. Uh, this is how we do leaf removal in, in uh, Ohio. <laughs> Leaf removal, the easy way. All right, what I got here is my little test stand I made. This test, if you look, this is hinged. All right, and I have a scale here. We can check the pounds of thrust out. Let's give it a try. A little over 13 pounds of thrust on that stand, so it's looking pretty good. Just playing around here with this new XPS fan unit. Kick butt, can't wait to get it in the plane. 